Hello, so we are back here. Yeah? Finally Friday. And we have a job, and this is a hard one, you know. This is a uh, Sony Xperia ZX1, yeah? And the problem is the charging port. So if you plug the charger, it's a USB-C charger. If you plug the charger on this one, yeah, it's taking no power. Yeah, the first one from the top. No, now why does this job is hard? This job is hard because it's USB-C. USB-C, you know, it's, it's not so easy. It's not like it's not like the micro USB. But the problem is, this is one piece. Yeah, this is the back cover. So to go inside, you have to take out the screen. Okay. I don't understand how this phone died because the Sony got the weakness of the USB-C, and I know the charging port. It's actually flexible and it's with a ribbon cable. So these are quite solid. So I don't understand why this phone died. Okay. So I'll stick the phone just one minute on the front of the heater. And we'll try to take out the screen. Obviously you have to ask for some money for this job. You know, the chance to crack the screen is very high. Okay. Also, the USB-C ports are all different. So if the port is faulty, you have to replace with the same model. I mean, you have to order, you know, the long part. Okay. How much we charge is not important because each country has his own prices. But just keep in mind, it's risky. So you have to, if you crack the screen, you have to replace the screen. If you replace the screen, just be sure you will not lose money. So just, just to get covered. You understand what I mean? Okay. So I'll try to remove the screen. I know I did it once and was fine. The screen actually is, is coming out nicely. So let's try again. Let me find a tool here. One second. So let's try. Maybe I'll crack the screen, who knows? So just bring the phone like around 40, 50 degrees and it will be more easy. Yeah, it is hot. Playing with the metal tools is dangerous. But you know, uh, this is like... Um, muscle uh, memory so you know exactly how much pressure you should put uh, on the screen okay that's fine I heard a crack. Yeah, that's fine. Hopefully, I didn't crack the screen because it's not getting crack outside, you know, it's getting crack inside. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let me grab out the 
we have a plastic cover over the connector okay that's great so we took out the screen The USB-C charging port is here, so I suppose we have to open this metal or not, let's see. I didn't check the YouTube how the other people are opening this phone, but you know, this should be easy. Hopefully, maybe I should check. It is the antenna. Okay, let's open the metal bit. It looks like the screws are all the same. Maybe I can have access on the battery to check if the screen is still good. Oh yeah, I do I have access on the battery. This connector was not plugged in. Really? Yeah, let's check now. And it's charging, that's crazy. So that this phone was never opened before. That connector, which come from the charging port, was not plugged in, and it's taking like six, six hundred milliamps. So probably the battery is very low. Let's plug the screen. One point four amps. Uh, why is not displayed? <laughs> why is not displaying? Yeah, let's take out the charger. Let's unplug the battery. Let's plug the battery back. Let's try one more time. Oh, I'm saved. I'm saved, so the screen is fine. Yeah, no problem with the screen. But that's great. I fixed one more, only one more before, like two, three weeks ago. And the charging port, you know, it's on the ribbon cable, was pushed inside. Yeah, so that was the, the issue on that point. So I was plugging the charger, and the charging port was going on the back. So I opened the phone and I fixed the charging port on the place. And now the connector, this connect, this is different phone, yeah. This was never open. The connector was unplugged. Just crazy. This is just a bad design. It's charging fine. Okay, let's put this back together. Let's see what kind of uh, design 
can keep that charging port on a place that connected this so this should be like that and that's all no other security well I will not modify this one I don't try to make the things better so this is pressing on the connector This will be here. Probably, yeah. Let's put this back. Okay, it is a small thing. It's it's like a it's, it's not a secret, but it's you know, even here on this shop, they're replacing the screens on many phones, many phones, especially Sony. And after replacing the screen, oh, the sound is different. The sound is not like before. And uh, you know when you you don't really have experience with the with the with the speakers, yeah. On my time, I was building like speakers, yeah, box with, and uh, the the speakers are different, you know. You have bass reflex, you have compression one, you have the you know the one with the waves. It's you have many speakers, yeah. And this one is with the comp with compression, yeah. And if you mess up with the compression, you remember how we, we are testing it, we are making boxes and proper, you know, no no air, air was going inside or outside. And the way how you test, you press the speaker and the speaker is coming out slowly. Yeah? So on that point, you, have, you know you have a, a good compression. So it's the same thing like here, you see, you have this bit, yeah, the idea is the, the what air is going outside is not supposed to come on the back of the speaker because it will create like a, a short circuit yeah short circuit like air source source uh, short circuit yeah and the air which is going out is not supposed to come back yeah and that's the, the design on these phones yeah so you have this little piece here yeah where they use this to isolate and uh, all the air to go outside. What I will do in this case, I will use my sticky thing, yeah, which is doing same. Uh, it, it will be the same, you know, the 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 glue, and I will use the glue here, 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 here. And I will create, you know, like a rubber ring. So in this way, I will be sure, you know, the air is go going outside. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. But also keep in mind the speaker, yeah, the screen, sorry, the screen. So this is done. Yeah. What do we need now? We need We need plug the screen. Screen is plugged. The plastic uh, thing keep the screen in place, the screen connector yeah, 
is there now we can use our glue and also here 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 okay that's great next because we have to st stack the screen back for me using this glue is the best thing you know we don't really have like uh, lifting screens returns so I'm fine Everything is fine now. We can feed the screen. Okay. I will check one more time, yeah? Yeah, it can be clean easily if it, if it, the glue is coming out a little bit. It can be clean easily after. Yeah, everything looks fine. Yeah. Let's check one more time. One point four amps is perfect. Yeah. But it's charging fine. Was no other issue. Okay, what I will do more, what does mean? Okay, charging. Why, why did it get that sign? Hmm? Let's power up and check to be sure it's good. What did I get that sign on the screen? Because I took out the battery and I plugged the battery back? Possible, yeah. Very possible. Unlock, okay. Yeah, the digitizer is working fine. I don't know the pin. Well, I suppose it's okay, yeah? We have network, everything is fine. So I'll shut down this. Yeah, it's shutting down. I'll stick the screen on the front of the heater. So I'll raise the temperature around 50 degrees. And after that, I'll put the phone on clamps, yeah? Okay. Uh, look what I did found on the desk in the morning. Okay. And I'll leave the phone on clamps like one hour, one hour and a half. Longer is better. And that's all. Okay. So now if you have to open this one, you know how. Yeah, this, this was kind of awkward video. We didn't fix anything. What should we fix? Mm -hmm. What do you think? We should close the video. I have here one more job charging I see yeah oh boy charging I see let's replace the charging I see yeah. let me feed this to this in clamps
One second. Okay, that's all. These are stronger, these are weaker, yeah? So we are fine, yeah? One second. Hey, yeah? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, okay, this one. Plug the charger, like 66 milliamps. This is not charging. Okay. So I I believe they checked already the charging port, the battery. Let's go straight on the problem and replace the charger. I see. Let's check the battery before, yeah? Hold. Zero. Okay, let's charge the battery. We have a current limit around 2 amps. Let's see. Charging. Eight is charging. Two point four amps. Yeah, the limit is two point four amps. So it's charging the battery. Uh, that should be enough. Let's check now. Yeah, we do have 3.1 volts, you can see there. 3.1 should be fine, you know, the phone should start and charge normally. Charger is plugged. And it's taking the same, even less, like 8 milliamps, even less. If I take out the battery, that's 0 0.8 milliamps, and this is probably 6.2 milliamps, yeah? So actually when we plug the battery it's it's worse. <laughs> I I believe it's a charging IC issue, yeah. Well, let's open this quickly. Yeah the water damage sticker it's red. It's not red, it's like orange. Possible to be like water damage, yeah? Okay, one more screw here, 
and we have one more screw here. Out. Is I for six S, yeah? Six S. Okay, it was never opened. I can't see water damage here. Uh, Tristar chip is here, yeah. If I, uh, uh, actually, the Tristar is not a charging IC. Well, he is meant to fail on these iPhones, yeah. He is failing, he's not meant to fail, but okay. Let's have a look under the microscope. Yeah? Okay. Let me switch on the microscope. Yeah. So the trace that I see, yeah? Is there. Okay? Let's bend this bit. Just to have space, we can bend it back after. Okay, let's use some flux. Okay, I need a good, good tweezer, and I found it. I need a small nozzle. Temperature, let's say around 370, 380, 380 degrees, will be fine, 380. Less air, not too much. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to fix that. Yeah, that's okay. Let's clean the let's clean the pads with the solder iron. More flux. Okay, I do have a problem there. That's fine. Let's find a chip. Let's find a new chip. It's A3 on the end, yeah? A3. That's the one. Yeah, so that's the chip which is, is failed on this one. One six one zero A three. Yeah, okay. So let's find another one. Sure, I have this chip. Yeah. 
this is a2 let's find the a3 this is iPhone 7 this is something else okay this is a3 yeah I'll use one let's put all back together Okay, let me switch. Good. So we have the chip. We need flux, yeah? What I will do... Let's heat up the chip a little bit. And I will dry the chip here on the flux, that's all. And now I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, it sees on place. Let's hold the chip. The board is moving, I don't know why. I need more air. Okay, the chip is moving freely. That means it's okay, it's fine. The chip is happy. Let's check now. Let's test it first, you know. Maybe it's not working. Let's see, charging port, battery, charger, look on the meter, 1.1 amps, yeah, which is perfectly fine, 1.2, yeah, you can see the charging current, 1.3, perfectly fine. Let's just put the port, put the screen back, and let's test. I'll bend back that thing, yeah? I'll clean and I'll put a cover after that, yeah? And obviously the Wi-Fi antenna. I just want to check. You know I'm lying, you know, probably I'll give everything like that to my colleague and he'll put all back together. <laughs> uh, let's put the screen. Then it's off. And um, only I and uh, Christian here. What Anna is doing? <laughs> That's a good question. Let's see. Let's see what Anna is doing. Ah, yeah. 
Let me switch. Yeah, that's what Diana is doing. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Playing Apex Legend. <laughs> okay. She's, you know, she's crazy with the game. She's trying to get better on the on the Apex Legend game. I can't play games, you know. I try with the Apex Legend. I try to play like few games. I get angry, you know. I get angry easily, and I count down on the on the next minute. Okay, so we have picture, we have the charging sign, and we have like 1.9 amps, you know. Which is fantastic, 1.9. You know, the phone is booting, it's loading the things, the current goes up, the processor is boosting. Now we have like 1.2, 1.3 amps charging current stable. So the phone is fixed. That was the problem. Okay? So what I can say, have a great and fantastic weekend. And see you probably Monday, yeah? Monday? Yeah, most likely. Okay? Bye.